Hello everybody, welcome back to another Trailmakers tutorial. Alright, so let's say you really love the High Seas expansion, but you're even more excited for the Airborne expansion. So why not get the best of both worlds and build a seaplane? And that's exactly what we're going to do in this tutorial, guys. We're going to build a seaplane that can work both on air and sea. Alright, let's get building. Alright, so guys, so I'm going to start off with grabbing my seat. I'm actually going to go for a motorcycle seat here because I want my plane to be odd whip. And then I'm going to grab myself some pontoons. I'm going to go for the medium pontoons. And then I'm just going to put a bunch down underneath the seat here. So I can begin to work the frame around the pontoons. We're just going to like fill in the gap in between the middle of the pontoons here. Just to make the frame a little better. And then I'm going to grab a 1x4 and then just start working my way around the seat. Now we just want to make sure everything's attached. So I'm going to actually add a 1x3 there. Okay, so I really want my build to be both hydrodynamic and aerodynamic. So what we're going to do here is utilize the wedge piece. I'm going to actually grab myself these inverted corners. And then, you know what? Let's bring this wedge out like so. Add another wedge here. And then I'm just going to select all this and put it up like so. And now you can see how we're using the wedge pieces to really make this nice shape here. Alright, so we're going to finish the bottom part of the build here by adding a smaller 1x2 wedge. And then adding the 2x2x1 wedges here, the corner ones. Get it inside the shape like so. And there we have it guys, that's a nice boat shape right there. Alright, so we're going to do something similar to the back of the build here. However, I want it to actually lead up to the tail of the plane. So it's going to be a little bit longer than the front part. So I'm just going to take all these pieces here, like stairs. Just want to fill in all the missing gaps here with the inverted corner. And then I'm just going to get to work making sure everything's connected by adding these 1x2s like so. And obviously these two corners here aren't connected just yet because their connection point is right there on the top. So to fix that, we're just going to add a 1 by 3 like so, and then we can come back to it later and make it look all pretty. Alright guys, so now we're going to add the top portion, or the top half of the plane now. So I'm actually thinking this seat here is a little too close to the nose, so I'm going to move it back like so. And then I'm just going to copy and paste the pieces we've already used, and really get to town making a nice nose shape. Once again, utilizing the inverted corner pieces. And already, guys, this looks super nice. Alright, to finish the frame, I'm going to add a 1x4 there and then just copy it across. And now we have a better understanding of how the shape here is going to turn out. I'm going to grab myself a 2x4. And then just copy some along the top there. Copy and paste, copy and paste, copy and paste, copy and paste. There we go. And now all I'm going to do now, guys, is fill in all the missing spaces here. So we're just going to grab a block and then just do that. Do the same on the other side. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, here we go. Here we go. That's better. And now I can start working on finishing the tail. So I can get rid of these placeholders now. And I'm going to grab myself another inverted block and do this. Then I'm going to grab the big wedge piece. Stick it on the plane like so. I'm really happy with the way this tail is starting to just like come out of the back of the plane here. And to finish it guys, just add the corner pieces. Alright, so we do float. Uh, we are top heavy, which is not a problem right now because I actually have a plan in mind to fix that and that comes when we start building the wings. But before we get to the wings, we're actually going to finish the tail. So I'm going to extend this piece out like so, start making a frame. It's always good to make a frame, guys, to get your bearings. And now we want to add our modular wings. Here we go. I'm just going to add one to the tail like so. And now we can get to work adding the hinges so we can make these modular wings uh, give us some pitch. So there we go. I'm just going to put them across like that. And like always, I always use the flat connectors or shield pieces just like this. 
and like so. There we go. There's our tail so far. Right, well, we should probably go back onto the aircraft carrier for now. And after some configuration, it should do that. Very nice. I'm going to grab a simple tail fin, and then I just want to place it here for now. This piece is perfect because it allows us to have a 1x2 shaped block. Uh, with only one connection point on the side here. So the modular wing won't be connected to this side here. And then maybe I just want to fill in this missing gap here with this. We can do the same on the other side. Just grab a wedge. You know, fill in the missing gaps, guys. If you wanted to fill these gaps in further, in fact, what you could do is add some shield pieces and just cover the holes like so. All right, so now we need to add some propulsion and wings. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is get rid of these wedges now. And then I'm just going to copy and paste pieces because we already have them out. It's just very easy to copy and paste the pieces. And then we're going to make a frame here. And then I'm going to grab one of these one by freeze, like so. And then we're going to grab our big modular wing. And I have a very interesting mechanism in mind right now. So I'm going to take another one by four. It's going to copy the same shape here by doing it on the other side like so. And I'm going to leave this gap here and we will come back to this, guys. The reason is I have a very unique plan for this. Make sure you do the same on the other side. Okay, so now we're going to copy and paste the modular wings here. We're actually going to leave a gap for the mechanism. Do it on both sides, just like before. Add a hinge somewhere in there. Just want to connect everything using the flat connectors. There we go. All right, so after some configuration, the wing should give us roll like that. And then we have the pitch at the back, of course. And then we just want to finish the gaps here. Um, copy and paste. And then we can add a wedge piece. Let's go for the one by three wedge piece. I'm going to do the same, of course, as always, on the other side. Just really quickly, we're going to fix the roof here, like so. A inverted corner piece, and then fill in the missing gap with the necessary 2 by one wedge piece there. So now this is going to get a little interesting. Grab a rotating servo. We're going to place them inside the gaps, like so. Uh, we're just going to leave this side for now and then we're going to grab this two by one rounded again such a handy piece stick them on the servo like this we're gonna double the size and finally copy and paste the servo across like so and now it's time to do some configuration so i actually want one of these servos here to be a dead servo so i'm going to go into configuration and turn the strength down all the way to zero and now for this servo, I just want to add a key bind. It could be anything. So I'm going to use the up on the D-pad there, put it on a toggle. And then uh, we'll just go out of build mode and just give it a test. So yes, it works. That little mechanism there works. And just copy and paste to the other side like always, making sure the mechanism is going the right way. Now, guys, you want to grab some mini thrusters. So here I go, and then we're just going to put them upside down like so underneath this part here. And then I'm just going to copy some along like so until I'm happy with the amount. Uh, this should be enough for the build right now. And now I'm going to make sure it's all connected. I'm going to add a wedge piece on the back. And I'm going to add some 1x2s on the front here. And finally, we can add a propeller. So we should have one side of the engines done. And make sure, obviously, it's copy and pasted onto the other side of the wing. And to finish the wings, guys, we just want to clean everything up. So I'm going to grab a logic piece, place it there, just next to the modular wing with the face of the logic block facing into the modular wing. And the reason I'm doing this is because I don't want the modular wing to have any connection points here. Grab yourself some wedges. And then we're just going to do a nice shape like so. It might be a little odd here for this gap, but that's fine. It doesn't bother me too much. Okay, so now you should have something like this. If we just give it a quick test, we do have propulsion. So we are going forward. Uh, we're just going to try and get this thing flying here. Oh, there we go. We're flying. Definitely flying. And now we're going to test if she lands in the sea. And there we go. With those pontoons, she lands very nicely in the sea. 
However, it looks like it wants to roll over to the side, which is okay. I know a way we can fix this. Add some tube pieces here, the sloped one. Let's say right here. And then I just want to copy and paste one down. And maybe I'm going to actually double this up. Finally, we're going to take one of these pontoons here. Just copy and paste it across. And add it to the bottom of the tubes like so. Obviously, doing the same to the other side. We need to add some floats into the tail. So I actually have a gap here I need to fill in really quickly. So we're just going to stick in that 2x4 like so. And then these big wedges here, I feel like we can just delete them. And then copy and paste a couple of these pontoons over to this side. We should be able to have that assist with the floating. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay guys, this thing works perfectly. Now that everything is finished uh, aesthetically and mechanically, we can give this thing a nice test flight. Okay, so off we go, and uh, we're struggling to take off here, which is fine because we have our special takeoff system. So we're going to activate those, aim them up like so, and then level them out. You just want to have them on for a little bit of time, guys, or you're just going to end up doing a loop-to-loop. But there we go, a fully functioning, working seaplane that I'm actually really proud of. All that's left to do, guys, is give it a quick paint job and add some decals. Okay, guys, so now we have the paint job and decals finished. As you can see, I went for a nice orange and blue theme, which I think is really nice. And then I also added some little fishies on the side of the plane there. Okay, prepare for takeoff. Let's go. And we're just going to drive off the carrier here. Oh, there we go. And then we have flight. So, yeah, awesome. We can fly around. And guys, if this build isn't fast enough for you guys, there's always space inside the main body of the plane to add more mini thrusters for that extra speed. And this plane is actually really nice to fly. So we're going to land in the ocean here. Just going to plop her in the ocean like so. Boom. And there we have it. We have landed on the ocean. Special feature. Take off. And there we go. We are now out of the ocean and flying once again. Alright guys, so thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope it helped give you guys a better understanding of making a seaplane function. And I'm interested on seeing what you guys come up with with your own seaplane builds in the workshop. Alright guys, well that's enough from me. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like on the video if you want to see more videos like this one. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.